do this. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. If you guys are new here, I look like an absolute freaking wreck today. Finally, my camera focused. Cool. So don't mind me, but I have to listen to music while I do this video today. I don't know, it's the only thing that'll like calm me down. Not that I'm not calm. <laughs> I am calm, but today what I got going on for you guys is I'm doing a get ready with me. This is like my typical everyday summer routine. Something that's super fast, super easy, and like I usually do when I'm in a pinch or like need to quickly get ready to go somewhere during the summertime. My hair looks super greasy. It's actually not this greasy usually and I'm really disappointed. Um, if you guys don't know, I wash my hair every seven days. I did do a video on that if you want to go check up here on how I make it seven days without washing my hair but I tried a new dry shampoo this is the IGK jet lag I hate it <laughs> I literally like I don't like it it makes my hair feel like really voluminous which is super cool but like I put my fingers through it and it like I can feel residue on my fingertips you guys should know I'm a true blood batiste girl i like it when it leaves the white residue in my hair and makes my hair like not look greasy like this day three doesn't look greasy for me usually so i'm gonna go return this today because i can't do it so i wanted to do a get ready with me just to like catch up with you guys i mean like a lot of my lifestyle has been different in the last couple months and I think it needs to be addressed a little bit and then I also want to talk about some stuff while I'm here because that's fun too. Man, I haven't done a get ready with me in like, I want to say like a year. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, first off I'm starting out with the Dynamic Skin Recovery. This is my facial moisturizer for the day. It's SPF 50 just in case I go outside today. I did two pumps. I typically only do one pump. But today's calling for two pumps because your girl's skin is thirsty while well, our world is in chaos, which is super fun. Corona hit, everybody knows that, and I didn't have to quarantine or anything like that. We actually, since I work at a vet clinic and it's an essential business, we actually stayed open the entire time that corona happened and there was only one scare where i had to go on quarantine for like two days going in with the primer today this is the all-nighter face primer i'm not a huge fan of this i would really prefer the uh derma blend jelly primer but i mean i'm trying to use this guy up and then we're using the wet n wild photo focus lumi lumineu <laughs> dewy just for a little bit of shine and glow i like feeling really shiny and dewy during the summer i just feel like it accentuates my light and airy feelings. So I start in my T-zone and across my cheeks and go across my forehead and then I'll go out to the rest of my face. Anyway, so the vet clinic has been super busy. I've been absolutely loving working there. I mean, it's really enriching to be learning something so different and like I'm not learning as much in makeup, which really sucks, but I'm kind of like switching over to more like enjoying my lifestyle rather than like talking about superficial in beauty so my job is super relevant to what I'm trying to transition into right now um, something really fun I actually get like why is it so hard to show you guys my scars and stuff so I'm getting like really scarred up which is just like super dope this one's probably the coolest one if it'll focus on it there's like a whole gash across the back of my hand. I got ripped up by a beagle a month ago when we were cutting its toenails. It just went like ham. I would love to tell my vet tech stories, you guys. Like seriously, you'd be surprised what goes on in a vet office. Anyway, speaking of like working in a vet office, um, my dog has been super sick for about a month now. I mean, it's been a rough couple weeks for him. Like poor thing, oh my gosh, I can't even I can't even believe that he's been as sick as he has been. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. I love this stuff. It's so natural and cute on the skin and it blends in really well. Um, anyway, Goose, our Aussie Doodle, he about, I don't know, a couple months ago he started throwing up, which is super normal for poodle mixes because they have like intestinal issues all the time. 
so I didn't think much of it but then he just wasn't keeping food down wasn't keeping food down I was like okay something's wrong luckily I work at a vet clinic so they were like okay um, we're gonna change his food and so we changed his food to something that would be a little bit better for sensitive stomach not quite like going in with like allergy testing or anything like that but we got something that was better for his stomach he was on that for about three weeks doing really well gaining weight which we were wanting and then out of nowhere like he literally just like kept throwing up and kept throwing up and kept throwing up the vet was like oh he's probably under stress like it's probably a stomach ulcer um, <laughs> flash forward three days later and he's been hospitalized and staying in the hospital overnight and on an IV for three days and um, like bloody vomit oh my god like sorry if I'm getting like too into it you guys like I know that's not a pretty thing to talk about but poor goose was just not feeling himself and not doing good so he stayed at the vet for a couple days we finally were able to keep everything down give him his meds like super pumped about that and then um we got to take him home and he was doing really really good like he had just gotten a stomach ulcer from being stressed i mean australian shepherds and poodles have really high anxiety anyway so i mean it comes with the breed you guys do your research before you get a dog like that's so so important so we had Goose home for about five days, like nice and healthy, had finished um, all of his meds from home, was keeping his food down, and we actually changed his food again to a hydrolyzed diet because his intestines are so sensitive. Guys, hydrolyzed food is not cheap. <laughs> it's not freaking cheap. It was literally like $80, which is what we used to spend on both of our dog's food a couple months ago before we changed the first time. Anywho, then, bam, all of a sudden, he starts puking again. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe he's just getting, like, a little sensitive again to his food. Maybe he's just, like, a little bit stressed. So we tried to keep his stress down. I used Trazodone on him, like, to keep him calm during all the fireworks this past week and stuff. And he started, this is so gross, guys, I'm so sorry, when he would go poop it was literally just liquid and I was like there's no way my dog could have like parvo or something like that because he's fully vaccinated like what the heck what could this be thank god that I work at a vet clinic like thank god because I was able to talk to my vet same day this actually happened yesterday where he just started like vomiting pooping vomiting pooping like literally just all over the house like disgusting I was gonna go to the lake it was the 4th of July yesterday and then um as soon as I left the house it just like <laughs> excuse my French the shit hit the fan as soon as I left the house yesterday and Jacker texts me he's like hey like he's been like throwing up like more and then he just like pooped on the floor like it just happened and I'm like oh my god because usually Goose lets us know when he has to go out anyway I call my vet He's like, it's Giardia because Jagger and I had gone on um, a hike. <laughs> like, Goose was good, so we went on like a hike and there was like a little stream and I saw Goose get into it and I was like, hmm, questionable water. Anyway, so he got Giardia from the water up at that hiking area. Oh, of course that would happen. Cool, guys. <laughs> like, just keep hitting me with it. When it rains, it pours. That's what I keep saying. Like, when it rains, it freaking pours. If you guys are curious what blush I'm putting on my cheeks, this is the Cloud Paint from Glossier in the color Beam. This is my favorite summer staple. It's going to be in my summer essentials video in a couple weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Anywho, 4th of July, totally ruined. Flung out the window, at least my day plans anyway. We were gonna, gonna go on a boat with our friend from high school, me and my friend Carly were. And then um, when all this happened, I was like, dude, I gotta stay home. Cause Jagger had to work through the day too. So I was like, who's gonna be home to take care of my sick dog? Like, oof. so I stayed home. Thank God, like my little girlfriends came over and we just hung at the house and it was really nice. And everyone was really supportive of like, me and taking care of goose with me like literally cleaning up shit off the floor <laughs> like way to spend our independence day thanks kelly i'm like the worst at independence day like the fourth of july is not my holiday luckily fun fact you guys 
the 4th of July is my sober holiday. <laughs> you guys have seen me drink in a lot of my videos, just like here and there I'll pull up a twist of tea or whatever. I'm drinking all the time, like all the time. I'm not an alcoholic because like I don't freaking need it. I mean it's 1 p.m. and a beer does not sound good at all. <laughs> I don't know, you guys tell me if you think I'm an alcoholic because I don't think I am. Oh, what I just powdered on my face was the Dual Finish um, Lancome, Lancome Dual Finish Powder. This is in the color 130 Porcelain Divois. <laughs> <coughs> See, I've got water as my, my buddy today. Not a twisted tea. <laughs> I'm not fancy enough to say the Lancome word, but this stuff is bomb. It's so easy to keep inside your purse or whatever when you're doing like summertime things. 10 out of 10 recommend this powder, especially if you have fairly decent skin. We have to the moon. Oh, I was talking about the 4th of July. Okay, while I put my blush on, um, I think I'm going to do this orange one. I love, love, love this orange one out of the Anastasia Radiant Blush Kit. I just so, so dig it. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And it gives that, like, perfect summer color. Forget bronzer, by the way, guys. Forget bronzer. Do blush. I freaking love blush. And the cool thing is, is that you can just lay it on and then it literally will fade out so fast during the day. So if you guys are curious how Goose is feeling now, he's feeling a lot better. I haven't had diarrhea yet today, so that's really good for him. Poor little honey just was not feeling himself. We still had a really good 4th of July. Um, after me and the girls lounged around all day, we actually ended up um, going to my boss's barbecue and having like really, really good barbecue. Um, Luckily, Goose was all taken care of, and, like, everything was finally under, under construction. <laughs> under control. <laughs> it was finally under control, so we got to leave him at home for a couple hours. He did really good. Like, not, I didn't even need to give him Trazodone for the fireworks or anything like that. Oh, I totally forgot. Like, I literally had to run to the vet clinic, like, twice yesterday for Goose. So, I ran in the morning and went and got him meds and then I ran again and um, like when my boss got back from the lake we ran to the vet clinic and he gave him a shot real quick that was so freaking nice like oof. otherwise with all this stuff I literally would have been in the emergency room and spent thousands of dollars on an accident that happened on the weekend like oh my god after giving a shot to goose so that he can actually keep food down and like not vomit we were able to get his medication in him and um, he's feeling a lot better today, which is super duper cool. So fingers crossed for my dog's recovery. Jagger and I have been very, very concerned. We actually, because Giardia is so contagious and we're like not only worried about us getting it, but we're also worried about Dallas getting it. Dallas went to go stay at my mom's, my little puppy Dallas. I love him so much. He's my baby. I miss him and Goose is so bored without him today. But I did not want anything to pass off to my little dog who could be more susceptible or anything like that. I think it'll be better for healing for Goose to be alone and then also for uh, then Dallas gets some Grammy time. <laughs> he loves my mom. Like he absolutely loves being with Grammy. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's such my little baby. I just love him and miss him so much. <laughs> I'm getting off topic. Oh no. I'm like looking for my brow pencil. Carly, I left it at Carly's house. Uh, no. What am I gonna do? First world problems, guys. Like, I'm worried about finding a freaking brow pencil. Is this medium brown? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Would you guys want to see me purge my makeup drawers? Because this shit is intense, the amount of makeup I have. It's like my everyday makeup too it's ridiculous how much makeup i have like woo okay we're gonna move on to brows i'm gonna scoot you in <laughs> what's up <laughs> anyway sorry i talked about goose for literally like 
20 minutes, but like that's what's been going on in my life. My poor baby has been sick for months. We can't get his stomach issue figured out and then BAM! He gets Giardia! Do you guys know how difficult it is to get rid of Giardia in dogs? Like, I'm about to become Dogs 101 YouTube channel and tell you all the stuff that I've found out about dogs. Like, would you be interested in that? I don't know. Everyone's here for like beauty or my coworkers told me I'm kind of entertaining outside of work. Thanks Cass! <laughs> Yeah, that looks right. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is happening with my brow? Okay. Anyway, back to me. That's why we're here, right? Get ready with me. <laughs> Lord Kelly, get out. So another thing that's been like really, really prevalent, prevalent, relevant in my life right now is I am getting ready for Jagger and I's wedding. I don't know if I have a wedding video up yet. If when you guys see this video. My videos are kind of all over the place because I'm just kind of going by the vibe that I feel at the time, what I want to post, like I'll film what I want to film but I won't post it right away until I want to post it. If you're watching this and my wedding videos are up, please go click the link up here. I will have a whole playlist. I'm doing like a whole huge thing of wedding videos. Um, I really hope that's not an empty promise either because that's what I'm planning. I already have two wedding videos filmed and then I will have our actual physical wedding videoed as well. I think I would die if I didn't have my wedding like up on the internet for you guys. Like I don't know what I would do. Like I beat myself up so hard for not having the proposal up online. Like I didn't get any footage of the proposal like when it happened still is really disappointing but if you guys haven't seen me and Jagger's proposal video you can go watch that up here I'll have it linked down below I literally am like kissing my own ass all the time because I like <laughs> I'm referencing my own videos constantly I'm so sorry but I'm not sorry at the same time like <laughs> if you guys are wondering what I used on my eyebrows I used the Anastasia brow definer in medium brown I typically like the brow is just for that little bit that I did on my eyebrows Look at how nice and full they are, they're like, uh -huh. what's up? I literally, like, that's all I needed was just, like, a little bit of brow hair in the front and then build up some definition up on the top of my tails. I don't pluck my brows anymore. I don't wear makeup anymore. Like, I just am embracing natural beauty. <laughs> God. Need to fill it up. Yeah, so Jagger and I are getting married in September. If you guys don't know who my husband is, my husband's Jagger. I actually have a meet my boyfriend tag. If you guys want to go watch that, <laughs> I'm going to link it right up here. I keep saying that. Yeah, you guys met him. And then I think I just have him like in and out of a couple videos. We didn't do anything like meet my fiance because we were actually only engaged for two weeks before we got married. Legally, it just makes more sense for us to get married like right away instead of like scrounge for money Financially separately and then get married and do like a big thing because we wouldn't be able to do that for like three years If we weren't married and like financially stable trying to get into a wedding <laughs> Me talking like I'm financially stable <laughs> What a freaking joke. <laughs> I made too many jokes about my finances anyway Jagger and I got married and we're just doing a huge reception and like a tiny ceremony for our close friends and family so that, I don't know, everybody feels more included because the first time it was literally like, oh, hey, we got engaged. And then literally the next morning we were like, we should just get married. Like, we should just like do it. <laughs> and we're calling family like, hey, we're getting married in two weeks. And they're like, like, bitch, what? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And it was just like a whole thing. I can do a whole story time on our first wedding later but i want you guys to see my wedding videos because it's gonna be super cute and fun i'm gonna put on eyeliner now i usually don't wear eyeliner i usually just like start doing mascara after this but i'm feeling i need some eyeliner today hopefully i don't f it up let's let's make it happen i haven't done eyeliner on camera in so long do I want to do the whole thing? I don't want to do the whole thing. There we go. Let's see, go to town, baby. Go to town. Don't 
cute. Okay, fine. When your wings don't turn out the same and you're disappointed. <laughs> Ooh, she did some thicker eyeliner than what she usually does. Okay. My wings are doing two different things. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna cap this and just put it the F away and fix this. <laughs> Yikes! I totally just realized that I didn't tell you guys why the 4th of July is my sober weekend. It's my sober weekend because it's Jagger's holiday. So I don't know if anybody else has this in their relationship, but I mean like my birthday is my holiday. You want to get drunk on my birthday? Well, well, why? Like, that's my birthday. You're going to take care of me on my birthday. Jagger's the same way about the 4th of July. He's like, you're going to get drunk on the 4th of July? Who's going to drive me home? And I'm like, bitch, me, because I'm going to be sober for your holiday. So you guys, I think that's something super important. If you're in a relationship and, like, you and your significant other, like, if you have a specific day that, like, you consider like one that you really really want to celebrate i think it's important that you guys take care of each other and then um like why can't you not be drunk for one time like i hate it when couples are like literally like the guy gets drunk all the time and then the girl drives or the girl gets drunk all the time and the guy drives like cool if you guys want to do that but like if you're just not having fun because your significant other is just getting like intoxicated constantly like what's the point of that where is the give and take in your relationship? Where is it? Relationships are all give and take. Okay, I've effed, effed my eyeliner up. It's fine. I'm distracted and talking to you guys, so it doesn't even matter at this point anyway. <laughs> Another thing about the 4th of July that absolutely really irks me and the reason why I choose to stay sober is because the amount of drunk drivers is unreal i don't understand why people like on one of the busiest late nights of the year they decide to drink and drive i think it's so so irresponsible and it can cause so many accidents i mean there's like fireworks being blown off there's so many dis distractions oh it's just so much better to be safe have a sober driver don't drunk drive like i don't care how much fun you're having i don't care how expensive it is take an uber home have a sober driver call me like freaking call me because that's my sober weekend if you want to call me at three in the morning and tell me to pick you up because you feel unsafe driving and you've got too effed up like the day of fourth of july call me it's my sober weekend like i will pick you up and take you where you need to go oh my lord i don't know why i've always been like that i'm like the most sober person on the fourth of july like since i was 12. <laughs> like of course when you're 12 you're sober but <laughs> But that's my thing. I'm like, okay, 4th of July is not my holiday, and that's fine. Fireworks give me anxiety. Do fireworks give anybody else anxiety, like, besides my dogs? Because <laughs> I just get so, so anxious when stuff blows off in your face. Or Joe Schmo across the street just decides to throw a Roman candle at you. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Roman candles, we got so many Roman candles so that the guys could have Roman candle fights with them last night. And let me tell you, did they fight? <laughs> they really, really did. Nobody got hit in the face on purpose, which is really good. I've never had a Roman candle fight before, like never shot off anything from my hand. Have you guys ever used Roman candles? They're literally like these like long sticks that you hold onto and you light the end and they shoot off multiple like little loud sparks like that's so dangerous so what boys do is they fight with them i never knew this about the fourth of july i mean i am not a fourth of july person i probably said that four freaking times now fire and uh, chemicals and it just seems like a bad combo to me, but that's just me. It's fine. Oh, uh, for highlighter today, I used the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. Eyeliner was the Benefit Roller Liner. Roller Liner Eyeliner. <laughs> nice eyeliner, though. You know what? For that, I'm going to do some clear brow gel from Anastasia. My favorite brow gel of all time. We're just going to brush these puppies up. Ooh, guys, story time. So this week I went to go get a consultation for my hair. I really, really, really want to do a weft, like a sew-in hair extension for my wedding 
because I think it'd be super cute, super fun. And then I can keep it in for a couple weeks or months or whatever too. I just want super long, luxurious hair that I don't actually have to grow myself because I am so close to chopping off my bangs and all of my front hairs and getting like a nice like 70s what is it it'd be more like 80s i guess like whatever my mom had in the 70s and 80s like the curly front bangs like where they curl in here and then they like all whiff like out this way oh, i want that so bad and whether or not i have extensions i don't know if i can do it with my like hair at this point um i wanted to get really long hair before I start chopping it every which way. Like, this is my hair dream. I have hair goals, guys. I don't know if you have hair goals, but I definitely do. Long story short, um, I went to this really high-end hair salon in town. It's called Wicked, and I got some hair extension quotes, and y'all first of all walking in there, the way these girls looked at me, they looked like I could not afford this. Like, they were like, like, granted, I had a mask on and uh, they couldn't tell my expression, which I was trying to be super polite and smiley, but also look like I had money. Um, these girls were looking at me like, oh my god, there's no way this chick would be able to afford a weft. And I was like, okay, like, that's fine that they're looking at me like that. I just want to see how much a weft would be because I'm, like, super interested. We get back and we start to do the consultation. I get in the consultation chair and she's, like, putting her fingers through my hair and stuff and, like, figuring out what would be good and how it would work and blah, blah, blah. And she said I had a small head, which I have an average size head. I mean, if you have, like, a bigger head than mine like I feel bad for you because I actually feel like mine is average to like getting on the larger size <laughs> if I have a small head then the guy I dated in high school has the world's smallest head dude like <laughs> anyway so she started quoting me the hair alone was five hundred and thirty dollars and I was expecting like maybe 380 to pay for the hair because like I I see cosmetologist prices, like I've seen the hair itself, and it was like maybe, maybe 380 for the amount of hair that I wanted if I bought it myself or if I had a cosmetologist that I know buy it. So there's an upcharge on the hair. And then the install is every six weeks. Every six weeks, like I was expecting like more eight weeks. Install is every six weeks. And the first install is $300. The second install, like, to readjust it is $150, which is fine. Like, I could do that every six weeks, no problem. And then it's every other install is $300. I was like, you want me to spend my rent money every six weeks? Or I guess, like, every 12 weeks? Lord. So, no hate to people who do extensions. I mean, your prices are your prices. I'm not gonna judge. My wallet is not your wallet. Like, you know, whatever. Like, I respect people for their prices. I mean, like, I worked in the aesthetics industry for two years and, like, I still do makeup on the side. My prices are my prices and that's what, like, I deserve for sure. I totally respect that. But it was gonna be $830 before tax before tax what who has the money for that how do you have that much money to spend like how i barely even want to spend ten dollars on new socks like every two years anyway so that's super embarrassing that i definitely walked out of that appointment being like i don't have enough money for this shit sorry <laughs> but I don't have enough money for that. Like, I'd rather spend $1,000 on food for my guests at my wedding than put a weft in my hair and have to spend $5,000 on it a year. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's $5,000. I should do the math. How many... I don't need to do math right now. Fuck that. I didn't go to college for a reason, bro. Because I can't do math. Funny story, I actually did go to college. For those of you who are new and you're actually still sitting through this video, um, 
I did go to college <laughs> for two semesters. Ooh, I should do a college story time. Oh, I totally just layered my mascara. Um, my favorite mascara of all time. Not all time, but I mean like that I've been using the last year and a half, two years. L'Oreal Telescopic, the black tube. I haven't tried the gold tube yet. I hear, hear that one's really good too. I'm going to try that one next. I actually have it in my drawer, ready to go. If y'all think that I'm lying, I'm not. This is the next one that I am trying. Anyway, going through the telescopic black one, and then I go over top of it with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I made a TikTok on this. Favorite duo of all time. I should have done a TikTok today. What was I thinking? People love my makeup TikToks. It's so funny. I act like I know stuff, and I actually, like, really don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. I actually know stuff. <laughs> If you guys have any recommendations for like what I should do for extensions, I'm thinking at this point so that I have them customizable for my wedding day, I should just do clip-ins. Like I should, I did clip-ins for like the longest time. At this point, I typically put freckles in. I don't know. Are you guys feeling freckles today or nah? I don't, I don't think I'm feeling freckles today. I think I'm just feeling like super rosy cheeks. Mini story. Listening to Tana Mojo's song. Loki, this song super freaking slaps. Like, Tana, way to go. Like, you have become such a different music artist. Is that what they're called? <laughs> Than what you were when you did Hefner. <laughs> Ooh! If you guys ever want to listen to Tana's, like, glow up in her singing, if you want to call it that, listen to Without You by Tana Mojo and then listen to Hefner <laughs> and it's like the biggest freaking difference like it's crazy anyway Tana you're never gonna see this video but if um Tana's followers see this video <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was it that was literally it oh my camera's gonna die okay you know what you know what you know what <laughs> you know what this video was way too long um thank you guys so much for watching this video today I hope it was like some good background noise for you and was kind of interesting or not or whatever. This is my typical makeup for summertime. I mean, I really like it. Uh, I do not wear eyeliner with this, but I wanted to wear eyeliner today. This is super duper easy to do at home. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if you guys want to see more of my videos, please go click the links down below or click this little information bar up here. I also will have videos at the end of this video um, for you to click on too. There's lots of places to click. Just Stay on my channel. Come come hang out with me. Uh, give me a subscribe if you want to. That'd be cool. Like, hang out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for learning a little bit more with me. Anyway, I'm going to get going because this is so cringy. Like, this is the cringiest outro that I've done in probably a year or two. <laughs> As you guys should know, I absolutely love each and every single one of you. Please leave me comments down below so I can comment back to them. I love interacting with you guys. Um, for now, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one. Bye!